You get 15 minutes. Guard will be in attendance the whole time. He'll be in the room with me. Call me Chris. I sort of feel as a director, your job is to sort of just tell the story as compellingly as you can. And I suppose what I'm interested in is the idea of a nemesis. Often in life, we seek out a nemesis. We define our, our professional or even personal aspirations in opposition to a, a, a specific individual. Hello? Hi, I'm a reporter with The Oregonian. I wanted to get your side on the Who? Christian Longo story. Who? Christian Longo. He murdered his entire family. Why, why are you telling me this? Because when they apprehended him, he said he was Mike Finkel of the New York Times. I wrote it in 2005, and Plan B approached me. So it was interest right away, and I thought it had a very cinematic feel to me. Hey, I don't want to bother you with this, but Marcus got a call about that article of yours. They say that's not Yusuf Male on the cover. I just felt like they just need a little bit more energy. And that guy leaves Maybe earlier another car. Yeah, yeah. Jenna going for a little more go against. Right. Rupert cares so much, and he's so involved in every nuance of the scene and the performances and the tone of what you're doing. He was just a regular guy, an intelligent, sane man from a good family comes home one night and kills his wife and kids. It makes no sense. The cops clearly felt they had enough to bring him in. I wanted to work with Rupert. I, I saw his stage production of Macbeth. I was a big fan of Rupert's. I told her that we weren't paid up on the condo and that we'd have to move again about the credit cards that I'd gotten by forging her father's signature. I could never find enough to give them all what they truly deserved. I'm really interested in shame. I think shame is one of the most powerful emotions. I think many men act very strongly in reaction to shame or fear of anticipating shame. And I think for both men, that's at the heart of their crisis. It's really getting to the core of who these, you know, two people are, two people at their bottoms. Thank you for seeing me, Mr. Long. I want to tell you my side of this, only you. I found the story to be really shocking, really sad, and just interesting to see how these two people dealt with each other. Maybe at this point it doesn't matter. Of course it matters. The truth always matters. It always seems to matter to you. You know, what I really wanted was somebody who wasn't a conventional thriller or action hero. I needed somebody who I felt the audience would care about. Above all, I think what Jonah does you know, superbly, is make characters sympathetic. You, you spoke to him? I met him. Why? I wanted to hear his side of the story. I'm not sure Christian Longo deserves to have his story heard. Everybody deserves to have their story heard. The moment I met James, I thought, this who is this guy? As a director, he's a real joy because he's always offering the alternatives. So if I say, OK, I just feel there's a a hint, too much playfulness on these two beats. He's absolutely able to kind of take that on, technically as it were, and, and, and deliver that. I'm gonna say a word, and then we just write the first thing that comes to our mind. Don't even think about it. Okay. Lies. Lies. James and I both felt we wanted to go into the room together for the first time and do the scenes for the first time on film. We shot them in order because you want to feel the awkwardness at first and then the relationship sort of progress. James and Jonah, they've known each other a long time. It's like in theater working with actors who have been part of a company. On the one hand, the danger is that they're too relaxed with each other, but equally it really allows a shorthand for how to talk about the work. Yeah, so you go, yeah, yeah, let's try that. For love, I wrote Mike in jail. What? James sort of archetypally being the devil, I, I needed the force of good, the, the virgin as it were, and uh, Felicity I'd always really thought was a wonderful actor. She was just fantastic. You know, to be honest, I'm relieved it's over with the times. You turn into a real prick working for them. Cut! She has something deep and profound about her and she's really smart. You think he's innocent, don't you? I think he trusts me. Can you trust him? She can see that there is something very flawed in Mike that he's become so obsessed. You had a choice of so many stories to tell and you chose his. Actually, he, he picked me. 
a basic sort of doppelganger story, you know, one man sort of ensnaring another man's soul. Why should I believe a word that you say? Sometimes the truth isn't believable. It doesn't mean that it's not true. I'm interested in what it means to be good and bad and what the relationship between goodness and honesty is. You're an outcast. That's not the man I wanted to be. None of us is the man he wants to be. Hey Lisa here, so did you like that action video? Well I've got an interesting action movie fact about Fight Club. Did you know that during filming Brad Pitt chipped his tooth? But he decided not to get it capped until after the movie as he thought it would look better for his character to have a chipped tooth. Hmm. Now what's your favourite action movie? Let us know in the comments below. And now don't forget to download our Film Is Now app for instant access to all our trailers.